for three minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong support of the rule reported by the Committee on Rules providing for the consideration of H.R. 5377, Restoring Tax Fairness for States and Localities Act. I was an original co-sponsor of this legislation. Last Congress, the middle class was targeted by the former House majority. The tax scam law of 2017 remains one of the most destructive bills we've ever seen here because it specifically went after the middle class. The principal way it did this was by capping the state and local tax or salt deduction, one of the oldest deductions on the books. It existed before the tax code, and it was a reason for it. This unfair cap hit New Jersey like an anvil dropped from five stories up. The average value of all New Jersey families' deductions was $19,162 in 2017, a figure double the $10,000 cap. But this is not just about New Jersey. The SALT deduction directly benefited more than 46.5 million households which represents over 100 million Americans. Almost 40% of taxpayers earning between $50,000 and $75,000 claim the SALT deduction. Over 70% of taxpayers making $100,000 to $200,000 used it. Imagine that that spread over millions of households from coast to coast. These are families in New Jersey, Illinois, New York, Minnesota, Kentucky, Texas, not all blue states. That's where you made your mistake. You try to nail us and you got everybody else. Paving and paying through the nose to find a tax cut, which you know went to big business and executives, which didn't invest in the government, it didn't invest in this government bill, didn't invest in industry, invested in the pockets of shareholders. We know, look at the data. And when I hold this up at my meetings, your home is worth less than it should be. That's happened all over the country. That's what it's done. Get rid of all the deductions. See what will happen to charity donations. Like some bad faith critics claim, in 2017, the average SALT deduction exceeded $10,000 in 25 states and the District of Columbia. I will grant an additional 30 seconds to the gentleman. The gentleman's recognized for an additional 30 seconds. At least 10 are so-called red states. The average deduction exceeded $9,000, including South Carolina, Idaho, Arkansas, and West Virginia. Salt begins, salt benefits flow to all communities like my whole town in Patterson. Salt relief empowers communities to make investments in broadly shared services. I want to emphasize this package is fully paid for. So don't give me this malarkey about you're concerned about the poor people all of a sudden. It's like the sun coming out in the morning, all of a sudden. And we're only concerned, we're concerned about the rich. doesn't work out that way. It doesn't work out that way. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman from New Jersey yields back the balance of the time. Gentlewoman from uh, California Reserves. Gentleman from Oklahoma.